Saturday morning, guys. Uh, I mean, it's kind of just about holding on to the morning. Um, I'm a bit later than usual today because I was thinking to myself, hold on, it's highly likely, given the fact that the back is closed, that one, there won't be a morning inspection at the back, obviously, uh, and two, more importantly, um, now knowing that it was Thames Water that were repairing certain things yesterday, whilst at the same time, uh, bizarrely enough, there was a Tom Cruise scene being shot on the Mall. Very curious they didn't yesterday. I don't think anyone knew about that until a couple of videos popped up on TikTok. Um, we're at the top end of Whitehall, Trafalgar Square end. You can see crew here working hard in the absolute freezing cold. I do not envy them at all. It's zero today, people. Yep, we're going to be seeing the horse's breath uh, very clearly. We might even get some snow. Whitehall uh, is closed one way. Uh, not because, as far as I'm aware, there's any protest today. Uh, but simply because of the work that's going on. Notice they're repaving the central area all the way to the top, making it nice and sparkly for Christmas. And hey, to be honest, it's about time that certain parts of Whitehall uh, started to look a little bit grubby. I think is all I'll say about that without being uh, you know, completely impolite. I'm walking on the middle of the road, one because it's safe, uh, having been coned off, uh, but also you can see quite a lot of people uh, on the pavement. And that pavement is not particularly wide uh, in the summer months. It's jammed. It's quicker to get down and walk in the road. It's the Horse and Guardsman, this pub here. Horse and Guardsman, one of the most famous pubs actually. Another one over on this side. Wow. In fact, every single part of my anatomy is completely fine and not remotely cold. But goodness me, fingerless mitts doubled up. And it's still pretty cold. Odd that so many gloves are on the floor as well. There's the Clarence, another pop, very popular pub actually. On the left, arguably the most famous pub on Whitehall. Okay, so all the traffic's being pushed down uh, to my left, interestingly. Yeah, Whitehall Place. Now, I really don't know what we're going to find when we get to Horse Guards this morning, uh, based on, well, the back being closed uh, and the weather. Look at this, oh wow, look. Outside storage, that's crazy. That's what happens when uh, there are no bins. I don't understand how they couldn't make uh, some sort of receptacle point that goes to an underground, a reinforced, perhaps concrete bunker uh, where they change over the bins every day. That way, if somebody did put something naughty in there, by the time it's dropped down and it's sitting underground, if it went boom, you know, blast proof solid concrete bunker. Right, I'm not sure if this massive queue of people, and it is absolutely chocker, it looks like, is because, uh, because there's an inspection ongoing, or whether that's done, there's just a huge group that turned up. That's a lot of people actually, even for a Saturday. I have no clue, folks, if it will even be possible to get super close to the front. Look at this. It's proper rammed and jammed. All the way along the front, look at this. Good Lord. And even, oh, actually, wait, hold on a second. They have opened, reopened access to the back. Not the main central gate, however. Uh, it looks like one or two of the side gates at the back. I'll have a closer peek in a minute, but wow, look at this. Goodness me, where to even begin? I mean, it's lucky that, uh, that they've closed this section of road because if they hadn't have done, there would not be enough space. All oh, the Wanderers are back, everybody. The AFL team saw a lot of these guys yesterday. Um, Aussie Football League or Aussie Football Rules team. Yeah, more Wanderers. So a lot of your guys here yesterday, a Wanderers, Wanderers team from Australia, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. were lots of them here taking pictures yesterday. How many of you oh, were in London, like different hundreds? Different teams, it'll be a different team. Ah, <laughs> okay. This, this, is our, this is our first trip into town. Yeah. yeah. No, there were loads of guys yesterday wearing uh, were Wanderers stuff, I was talking to them. Probably an, probably an AFL touring team. Yeah. So they all end up in Ireland. Okay. But we're, we're football, so we're... We're over here with an under, with a 12 and 13 year old team. Ah, so okay. We're going to have about 14 games against different teams in England. I know it's a lot of your boys that are proper cold. 
Yeah, they're really struggling with this. <laughs> we just came, well, when we flew out of Sydney, it was 30 degrees. And you landed and to here, this, you're just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but to be fair, this is rare for it to be this cold already. It is, is it? pretty, it's pretty rare. Yeah, yeah. normally it'd be between yeah. 5 and 10 now. So you've got a real proper cold snap. Well, aren't we lucky? <laughs> <laughs> just stay safe, yeah? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Okay, so lots of different teams, guys. Uh, I mean, the chance of getting super close to the horses this morning is, uh, I mean, well, what can I say? Not far off zero. So I'm going to kind of wander around. Let's have a quick look inside. I've noticed, actually, looking at both ends, uh, that neither horse that's in the boxes yet is Wanderer. Uh, that's relevant because yesterday, Naughty Wanderer uh, grabbed onto somebody and basically tossed them on the floor. Okay, so we've got the usual crowding, which is a partly a Saturday phenomenon, but we know that it goes on all year round. Much more so on Saturdays there, in fact, when people want to get super close and or get pictures and or get super impatient about uh, <laughs> getting the right picture. Now, I'm super curious because it's been a while as to what will happen if somebody transgresses hugely into the archway. <laughs> or waving either a horse through the gate uh, or another guardsman it's quite possible that the stableman uh, is just inside they're being very cheeky with the chain though exceptionally uh, hi. yeah my money's on the stableman being just inside the gate gosh with the central gates closed although people come in and out from uh, horse guards parade behind with those central gates closed it's really going to lead to a certain choke points in the yard today. Without a shadow of a doubt, there'll be choke points. Yeah. Damn. Whoa. Okay, let's have a quick look. Is there actually any ongoing work? Hold on a second. So this way you can get in, but you can't even walk straight along because of the chains. So first time I've ever been here and recalled the central gates being closed and locked, obviously in prep for the lockdown during the next three and a half weeks, but there's two side gates open funneling the tourists through. Very odd. Woo. Goodness me, it's cold. Okay, so, yes, it looks like it was that wretched little drain. Here we are, yep, it was uh, indeed Thames water. A few people mentioned that to me, and I got some messages about it yesterday, but there was so much contradictory information, I didn't bother to, uh, to mention it. Some people were suggesting it was the Tom Cruise on the Mal uh, closure yesterday. Other people said it was the water. Some people were saying it's uh, prep. Uh, for the shutdown etc etc I mean there we are there we have it there is a massive hole on the floor where that drain was so I dare say it got blocked probably you know years worth of gravel falling down there completely filled it up they've sort of minor excavated it but that's going to need a lot more work obviously and I dare say they'll put some sort of new uh, manhole cover down it's a good thing that although it is bitterly icily cold like bitterly cold you can see it in the uh, in all the people's faces, just how cold they are. <laughs> those, those Aussies, bless them, the, the footballers. You know, tough lads, they were shivering their whatever's off. Um, but it's a good thing that, despite that, it's not raining. To add rain into the mix in this, oh, no thanks. Not just for the drainage system and problems, but that would be horrid, dealing with, uh, with wet weather and these kind of temperatures. No thanks. So there we have it, folks. The definitive answer. I always like definitive answers. I'm a bit of a stickler for detail, as a lot of you know, I think. So I can definitively state that it was closed yesterday whilst Thames Water were digging a hole uh, and fixing that little barrier around the, uh, around the excavation they've made for obvious health and safety reasons. Okay, on this side, gates were looking pretty, pretty chill. He, I think, is going to be left alone compared to uh, the chips on the other side today. I really do think he'll get uh, an easier day of it. I hope he will. Okay, back to the front, folks. That's the reason we're here. Now, I don't know, really I don't know, I promise, whether or not the lifeguards will pull Indigo for for this uh, this stint here at Horse Guards. After yesterday's little uh, palaver, even though it was not in any respect the horse's fault, the lady was warned several times, she made a mistake, she got owned. Uh, and was in a lot of people's videos. I was here, but I was on the other side of the road, so I didn't see it with my own eyes, but several of my friends managed to get it, and it's on their channels if you haven't seen it, people. 
lady got pulled, basically thrown on the floor by the horse when she tripped. Not only that, the horse sort of made the, <laughs> the unfortunate step forward. That meant its hoof, front hoof was in, uh, in the poo all over her hat. But remarkably, she picked up her poo covered hat, dusted it off and put it back on. Incredible. <laughs> you see uh, Abdullah's video yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she put the hat back on with all the shit all over it. It's just like, what? Okay, for some reason, guys, uh, this horse is way back. I don't know why he's way back, which would explain why the uh, the majority of people uh, are at this end. That was Busker, by the way. So he saw yesterday's video. I think everybody probably saw it. It was a semi-viral video yesterday, and a good thing. It was a great capture, actually, in that moment. Quite rare that we'll actually get somebody having... Uh, what's very close to an actual accident here in terms of you know falling over or hurting themselves and luckily she wasn't you know seriously injured okay everybody i think i found the two pickpockets that operate at horse guards at the weekend there they are i just asked about you <laughs> I said, where is he he said he hasn't come yeah he said he's going to where it was now i was i was thinking about getting a train ticket to switzerland to make some serious money in the mountains apparently that's where <laughs> you can you can, you can. <laughs> i know i know i know but yeah. Um, I, I would miss you guys too much if I wasn't here. This is a problem. Uh, a weekend without you guys is like it's almost like being single. What's the point of our um, our group just chatting? No? Yeah, exactly that. Anything happen this morning? No. No? no. Yeah, it will. Let's see if they bring the other. Was the other horse out before this or not? Indigo. Uh, no, it's not Indigo here. Oh, so maybe they don't bring him out. That's the yesterday. It's the Indigo one. But I'm wondering if after yesterday, what, because of what happened, what you filmed, whether or not they won't bring him out for the rest of the weekend. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when the horse is naughty, yeah. they'll kind of not bring them back out again. So yeah, yeah. I guess we'll see. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, folks. It's going to be much harder for me to narrate when there are obviously a lot of other people recording. Um, a lot of you know my voice uh, from my friends' videos, which is not really ideal because it's not fair on them. They don't mind, but at the same time, you know, I try to be considerate. So I'll, I'll try to film at the opposite end to where the group are filming, if I can. Oh, wow, this is the tallest guy we've ever seen. Look at this. Bro, wow, he's actually as tall as a sign. Oh, my God. I guess about six, eight, maybe even seven foot. Absolutely huge guy. Uh, if I stand next to a sign, let me think. I think I'd come to probably the uh, old bike park. Yeah. It's rare actually that I'm looking up at somebody thinking, whoa, you're a giant. He was a gentle giant. Even the horse was like flipping old dude. It's a lovely looking coat, but his jacket looks super familiar. Fashionistas, was that a uh, Louis Vuitton jacket? I'm very impressed by some people here. There are a lot of people that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, don't have gloves, hats, scarves, and a few people don't even have a coat. And I thought I was hardy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for YouTube. For YouTube? Yeah, it's YouTube. Quite a few of us here film for YouTube. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing bad happens, so you won't, uh, you won't be on it, I promise. What are you filming for? I run a big YouTube channel, um, mainly with the guards here at Buckingham Palace. Very popular, uh, Australia, Canada. The channel is called London City Walks. 
I see all these videos when they shout to the people from the sex horse. That doesn't happen as much, but yesterday at this end, um, a lady was bitten by the horse and it dragged her over, pulled her onto the floor, and there were no hat fell off. The horse stood in it and wiped her hat and all of it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, that isn't the remarkable thing. Yeah. The remarkable thing is she picked up the hat afterwards and put it back on her head and walked off. Stay in shock. Yeah. Yep, covered in the horse manure. What's the name of the channel? One second, I'll show you. <laughs> Do you guys use TikTok or mainly YouTube? YouTube. Okay, that's that's a TikTok channel, but there's a link to the YouTube as well on that. <laughs> I've definitely heard of it, yeah. Have you heard of it? No, come on, you're just being nice. You've actually heard of it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, They've wow. They've been like, uh, suggested somewhere. Like, okay. From Where are you guys from? Germany? Yeah, originally. Yeah. I like, they're all visiting from Germany. I was going to say, say your accent is yeah. very different yeah. to your accent, for example. Uh, I'm more American English. <laughs> okay. It's British English. Yeah? <laughs> but she's British English. I've been living here for Okay, yeah, you sound much oh. well, I mean, you sound British to me. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, that's, I'm, I'm British, I'm not sure that's a compliment these days. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, I don't particularly like to do an accent, so. Ah, uh, no, no, you, I definitely wouldn't have immediately said, hold on a second. I think the mother or the lady who sounds very German, but you know it sounds German to me. Thank you. My pleasure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's rare that they shout these days. Uh, they've been told to kind of tone it down a little bit because there have been so many incidents that they've gone a little bit arguably too far and it's become you know, a bit of a viral thing and some toys have complained they got very upset that they've been owned by the guards and they've gone on YouTube. Fair enough, thank you. Yeah, on the other hand, like, I would get really annoyed if someone like, was just standing there all day touching the horse and like, it's... it's... It's a complicated one because on the one hand it, it clearly states, you know, don't touch the road. So if people do touch it and get shouted at and made to look silly, arguably it, it's their fault. I would agree, yeah. You know? Teresa think, too... Sometimes. Yeah, some people here are just in a completely different world, mind of their own, not paying attention at all. Some people walk into the box. One guy yesterday looked like he was going to actually climb on the horse behind the guard. It's just, honestly, you wouldn't believe the things that happen here sometimes. I, I could not sit there and like, watch it. I would, no. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty hectic. This isn't, I mean, it's packed, but this is not quite as bad as it has been on a few Saturdays this year. But I mean, just look how many people are. It's, it's organised chaos. It's, yeah, sometimes you can't walk past, you have to change some yeah. roads. Um, and pickpockets as well, operating here on Saturday, so you guys be super careful with all your yeah. stuff, yeah, and your yeah, phones and things. Uh, um, last week yeah. when I was filming that end, I thought someone's hand in my pocket. No. Yeah, one of my friends filmed them afterwards, the police know who they are, but it's just like, seriously? Yeah, they've really got no fear, no shame to pickpockets. It's easy to really. Here? Yeah. When, when they close the gates and they have the guard changed, when they change over the horses, everyone is very much sardined together. Yeah. And it's easy for people to be slipping hands into bags and stuff. It's just. Yeah. You don't feel on the other side of everything. Yeah, the horses change over every hour, and the guards that stand inside in the arches every two hours. Uh, so the next changeover is going to be. Can you see the time on the clock up, up the top? Uh, what is it now? Oh, well, yeah, 12 minutes. Um, and they'll change over. I'm trying to see if the naughty horse from yesterday that threw the grenade on the floor uh, is going to be back out here <laughs> today so doing likewise. Be good for the video, yeah? <laughs> well, have a nice day. Thank you so much. I will try my pleasure. Uh, yeah. Have a good day as well, yeah? You don't have to stand your too long. <laughs> I know. See you. Right, folks, we've got just over 10 minutes, uh, as you heard. <laughs> you don't like Nicole at all, do you? I can tell. Your face when it's cold is like, no. <laughs> It's a bit chilly, a yeah, teeny little bit chilly this morning. So yeah, people, 10 minutes. Uh, let's see what happens. The um, thing is, even if they do bring the horse, there's no way of me knowing which end uh, they'll bring the indigo out to. If they don't, we could well get another nipper anyway. Lifeguards have got a few nippers in, the, in their troops. The thing is, I don't actually even know which um, troop indigo's in. Each of the regiments have three troops, one, two, three. Uh, but I don't know which of those three indigo is in. I'll try and find out. I didn't think even to ask. Because that way I would know in advance I would find out which troop is coming, whether that horse is likely to be coming as well. <laughs> well actually, thinking about to stable this, I can't remember if the horses were designated troop one, troop two, or troop three. I have to have a look. I've got a picture of the, the lifeguard horse list from Hyde Park Barracks. I don't actually remember 
if they're listed in three separate columns or whether it's just a, a universal list of all the horses uh, for that one regiment. Yeah. I probably should know that, but I can't remember, honestly, I can't remember. Packed in the middle. I think um, the things might get interesting if the sunshine comes out. It doesn't look like it will at the moment. It's overcast, it's very, very cold, roughly zero. And more importantly, light isn't great, but Apparently, according to the forecast today, at around 12 noon, 12 noon, 12.30, we're supposed to get some sunlight. That will be wonderful to lift the temperature above uh, above zero. Also, plays havoc with the uh, with the phone battery, folks. It really does get drained even faster than when it's uh, super hot. Curiously enough, phones don't like the cold. I wonder if I should do a little bit of French. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to narrate in French again today, guys. I'm. Je foire. That's it. That's, that's it. That's my French narration done. Okay, they've slightly thinned out at the other end a teeny bit. Let's have a look at this end. The guard, actually, that I'm looking at now. Um, I think I don't know which horse he's on. He's on a massive horse. I don't know which one it is though. It isn't Indigo. I can tell you that. However, that is the guard that was on Indigo yesterday morning. So I think they've given him a new horse, and Naughty Nippered Indigo is in the stables. Yep. That's what I think. I don't know which one this is, though. It's huge. If this were a blues horse, I would actually put my man in this being TA. <laughs> Completely black, no markings on the, uh, on the legs anywhere. However, there is what looks like a half star. Is that what it's called, folks? Just under the forelock. As you can tell, I'm still working slowly. Uh, on my horsey terminology. Interesting today, for the first time, when I breathe out, it's like a boiling kettle. Which means it's much, much colder than yesterday. And in fact, I think you can see that. Look at the... Uh, look at when the horse exhales, look. You can super clearly see its breath now. Yep, you can super clearly see the horse's breath. Wow, okay, it means if, I think officially we're below zero, or thereabouts. It's a big beauty, this one. Hold on, everybody. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm actually wondering if... Ah, uh, is it cute? I really can't tell, actually, if it's cute. I'm thinking this horse is a massive, beautiful horse and looks very familiar. Then the penny just dropped. Q10 is a lifeguard horse. Could be Q10. I will wait. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I will wait, guys. Um, if and until either the stableman comes out, if I know him, I'll ask. I, I probably won't, don't know him, but if, if it's someone I know, I'll ask him. If a corporal of horse comes out, again, very unlikely, lifeguard corporal of horses are not, how do we say this, typically as public facing and visible as the blues corporals of horse. Not a criticism, just an observation uh, for how much time I spend here. New horses are getting ready in the stables. I can't yet quite see if one of them is indigo, but I'm really, really wondering if that big beauty at the front is actually Q10. If it's not, then Q10's got a super, super similar looking horse, really similar looking. Annoying enough, it's too cold to be pulling up on the phone and sifting through images to try and establish 100%. But what do we think, looking from the side, very majestic looking horse but the face I don't know why I don't know why but the face just looks a teeny bit different and I can't remember offhand if Q10 has got a small star hmm. yeah I, can't, I don't know guys I'm not going to call it because I'm really not sure he doesn't seem that happy. He really doesn't seem that happy this morning. I don't know why the horsey, but it could just be the way it is. I'm not sure actually. Keep tossing that bit. Yeah, it's a 50 50. Let's wait and see, folks. Again, if I can confirm it, I will. Uh, if not, it'll be pretty easy. One of you will know from the other videos. I know some of you are keeping. Uh, Rhodes galleries of naughty horses. 
have to be very careful actually when I wander around because of the number of people that are moving here constantly. Lots and lots of people. We've only got five or six minutes though until the changeover. The new horse is already in the uh, in the tunnel that goes through to the stable. Oh, this one seems very happy. That was the most tender encounter we've seen this week. Uh, I've got no idea which horse this one is, guys. Uh, I know a lot of you mentioned about, yes, you know, the, the number is on the hooves, and yes, it is on the hoof. It's on the front hoof. Uh, typically on the front left hoof. In fact, it is. I can see it right now, even at this zoom. Uh, and on the front right hoof, it says LG Lifeguard Regiment. <coughs> but keeping a list of, uh, of numbers doesn't really help. Why? Because uh, my friends would be extremely annoyed if I asked them to go through a hundred odd horses uh, and give me the names for every single number. Point is, you need a, a reference point. There's not a list, as it were, a publicly available list to look up the number, go to column two uh, and find the name of the horse. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Plus, as the horses are rotated and some are out of London, um, as they will be very shortly, this time next week, a lot of these horses will be up at Melton in Leicestershire, running around, uh, letting their... No, it's fine, it's fine. Letting their hair grow uh, and everything else. So that being the case, uh, I'll, try, I'll try and think of a, a suitable way. I mean, maybe over time, I guess I could... Uh, I could start taking hoof numbers down, add them to a list, and then trying, if at all possible, uh, over over the course of several weeks, to add the names to the the, uh, the numbers. It's still complicated though, because opening up a spreadsheet and looking at it when it's this cold on the other phone is pretty much impossible. Oh, another nipper here. Okay, gates are opening up at the back. One second, guys. I recognize a stableman. <laughs> I just have to really dash across and ask him. He might not tell me. But if I don't ask, I will not know. It's 50-50. Let me see. Keeping the uh, the camera away. Trooper, can I ask you something? Is that Q10? Do you know if there's a Q10 in that box? No. It's, it's not. It's yeah. really like Q10. Yeah. Which, which is this one? You know I, I remember seeing this one, but I just can't remember the name of it. Oh, Proton. Which one? Proton. How do you say it? Proton. D-R-O-D-A-M. Proton. Proton. In fact, I've never seen this one before. Yeah. He used to be a seal, old seal boss. So he looks kind of really all that important. Yeah. Is Indigo coming up today, do you know? Or are they going to keep him off after yesterday? No, we're keeping him in. <laughs> I thought so, he was naughty yesterday, no? <laughs> okay, everybody, so uh, Trojan, folks. Uh, new one to me. Could be brother or sister to Q10, uh, but this is a channel first. He's never been on before. Where have they been keeping this massive beauty? He's so high up in the air when his head is up. Honestly, virtual twin to Q10. Trojan. Very appropriate name. Anyway. So Q10, naughty little Q10, guys, is not on. Uh, they're not. He's in the, he's in the punishment block in the stables uh, after being a very, very naughty boy. Okay, I'm going to push everybody back behind the bollards now. We're getting very close. What is it? It's one minute to uh, one minute to noon. Officers are telling everybody to make a space inside. It's packed in the yard, jam packed. Um, the lifeguards are doing even hours, so that means that they're going to double change today. They're going to change both the boxmen, they're going to change the gatesmen and the chitsmen all at once. And bearing in mind that jam in the yard, wow. I'm semi tempted to go in now that we know Indigo's not coming out, but 
I think, to be honest, there are just too many people. It's going to be a very, very messy one. Here we are. Behind the bollards. Not everyone is. Everyone is happy to be in morning to be told to get that whatever's behind the bollards. Oh, now behind the box, look, officers having to tell them all to get behind the white line behind the horse box because there are too many people. Okay, I've got a pretty, pretty good spot here, guys. No one is, uh, is squishing me in. I'm very close to being directly in front of the gates. <coughs> Dad of the year oh, will go to this guy over here for being super smart enough to ask permission to be on the corner with his boy. So they've got it all to themselves, uh, literally, like you can tell his kids it's a VIP day out. Uh, and it kind of is with a view like that. <laughs> oh, what's that? Like? Oh. close to the crowd. I'm super uh, enthusiastic about this Trojan, goodness me. I'm also spying what very much looks to me. Uh, actually yes, it's the Corporal of Horse, the Blues Corporal of Horses in the tunnel. Along with, I think, uh, a lot of visiting new guards. One second, I'll pop into the yard in a minute and see. They say we've been given permission to stand over on the right hand side in the tunnel. This tourist obviously hasn't quite uh, got the memo about it being temporarily closed for pictures because of the guard change. <laughs> it's a big good hour anyway because this troop it doesn't take any nonsense. I don't know though folks the uh, the name of this horse, unfortunately. In, in the middle of the guard change. <laughs> uh oh. I think it's because there's not a troop out today keeping everybody back. I'm glad I didn't go in there actually. Let's <clears throat> get this through the box folks, like, it's absolutely jammed. No troopers. <laughs> okay, let's have a little wander in, everybody. 
definitely spying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, another another huge group of new guards. Who is their officer at the front with the umbrella? They're going to come out of this gate. Uh, I'm going to make sure I capture this because a, a lot of uh, of people like those videos from before. Now I'm not entirely sure if it's a if it's a mix. I'll uh, I'll ask if I can in a minute. My money will be on Grenadiers. I'm trying to see actually somewhere on the bag or anything else, but I can't see it. It's so packed that even they're having to wait to get through. It's absolutely shocker here. Crazy, yeah. New recruit soldiers having to uh, to wait to get through this. Everybody, look at it. Oh my good lord, look at this. What on earth? <laughs> Forget about the horses, folks. Be lucky if I could even get close to the gates. What the? <laughs> Oh, wow, wow, wow. I mean, what I do for people, to honestly. Yeah. This side is just unbelievably jammed. I was expecting a busy morning with this. <laughs> now stuck in the crowd, so I mean... Along. So, oh my goodness me. <laughs> what on earth? It's ridiculous, one second folks. There's no point in even trying to get near that horse. 200 people rammed right around the front. This end's pretty bad, but the other end, just forget it for the time being. <coughs> Hopefully it'll clear shortly. What I am going to do everybody as well, as it's so busy, I'm going to try and keep an eye out just in case we see uh, pink bobble hat lady. Now, it doesn't matter what she's wearing, she has a very, that pink bobble has got a very unique rat-like face, so if she's here, I'll spot her pretty much instantly. When it thins out, we'll be able to get closer to the front of the horses again, but right now, no chance. This is a June July size crowd that we've got here. Okay, we made it finally close to the front. Curious <laughs> nipper they've got here as well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 
assembly meeting guys I can have 15 different languages at once all the big well I mean they were almost all here now you're here every big time is here 
<laughs> All good, yeah. It's funny because certain guys that was, uh, can easily la lash out at kids. Some of the people are being a little bit too, uh, bit too over familiar with the horse this morning, this afternoon. <laughs> It's funny, you know, because after what we saw here yesterday uh, with Indigo grabbing that lady and almost tossing her like a rag doll uh, across the front of the box, anything could happen at any moment. It's, uh, it's extraordinary. Chance so it won't, but I could have said the same thing yesterday. I know what happened then. I like the fact actually that um, the officer uh, had a bowler, even though he was very young, uh, with his troops, had the bowler uh, and the customary umbrella. Um, I don't like to sort of intrude uh, because I don't know who the hell I am, and I no one, some guy with a camera uh, and a potential security risk, but it would have been wonderful to know uh, which cars they were, where they're from, uh, and indeed the rank of the junior officer. If anyone does know, um, and I know some of you before uh, are parents of new guards that I filmed here, it'd be wonderful to, to have a little bit more background. It's probably a new intake at Wellington, but uh, I don't want to speculate because I don't actually know this time. It could also be down for the Catterick or any other barracks for that matter. At least though, despite the massive number of people out here, look, it is busy guys, look at it. At least people are being generally well behaved uh, and giving the horse some space. That's it, this trooper doesn't take any nonsense anyway, so if they crowd the horse way too much, he'll use the horse to push him out of the way. <laughs> I don't know if this one's just curious or potentially a bit of a nipper. Indigo was just like this, really sort of exploring and then absolutely nipped uh, some people pretty dramatically. Uh, hence him being off. So the bad news guys, ladies and gents, is that we won't see beautiful indigo uh, until next year. Yeah, it'll be next year now. I'll go back to the other end in, in a minute. I don't want to lose the spot I've got here because depending on which side people decide to pose, uh, we're front row, aren't we? Pretty much. <laughs> ah, so okay, so the Frenchie just arrived. I'm behind me, I'm hearing. Uh... Oh! The horse has nipped something, it's in his mouth. What's that? A glove? What on earth? What the hell is it? Is it a glove? Oh, there it is. It's a little toy, look. What on earth? Oh, there's the other bit. Flipping how seriously, look at this. That is crazy. Wow. Even the guard that mildly concerned, and obviously the horse could choke on it for goodness sake. Unbelievable, really. See, that could have been somebody's hand, everybody. Easy. To be speculating about things going wrong, what happens? Something goes wrong. I don't know what that was. It looked like some sort of little loom band thing that uh, the girl had made. It could have been the bubble from my hat, I wasn't paying attention. I thought it was actually quite a good selfie.
Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Are you Brazilian? Brazil. Oh my god, I could have sworn I heard somebody speaking Ukrainian behind me. Brazilian? Yeah, you got, a, you got a great picture. Very lucky, very lucky. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Brazil. Wow. That's a surprise. And why on earth did I think you were the least Brazilian look uh, looking Brazilians <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Crunchy now, guys. Honestly, I'm not going to move. It's dramatic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is this guy doing? What is he doing? Close up. Oh my goodness, mate. <laughs> uh, and it said there wasn't uh, decided to munch any other kids' toys or pieces of personal clothing. He's certainly curious, isn't he, this one? It looks to me like a fairly young horse as well. What do you think, uh, equestrians? Young or old? Real beauty. When there's always occasionally have a meltdown, guys, and decide to run along the front, um, do their own thing. If it happened now, wow, it would be a problem. Joy on some people's faces are priceless, really, really, really golden. <laughs> oh, she's looking the other way. This lady's waiting ages with her boy. Uh, look, very thoughtful guard moving the horse over for the picture. Oh, now, a whole bunch of other people's kids are running in. <laughs> that didn't go well, did it? People just pushing in. She waited ages. She's trying to push other people's kids out of the way. She waited ages though, to be fair. Yeah, bless her. She did wait a long time. Chewing other people's kids out of the way. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's because it's getting squished against the wall. But where's the horse going? He's almost uh, diagonal in the box.
to uh, the dying days of last winter, folks. I remember when I first started filming here, it was just like it was absolutely ram packed like it is today. Huh? Look at the numbers. <laughs> The horse is in a very odd position right now. He's asking them to stand back. The horse needs some space. Look, too many people. It's like a mass mauling. <laughs> there are these numbers I'm just looking around, this pink, pink is paradise honestly, it's rammed. This is an idea. This is what I was in, folks, in there. Look, in that gap. Look how busy it is. It is absolutely popular. And uh, I'm here in uh, the Ricci, everywhere. Everybody is uh, speaking like this here at Oscars today. All right, let's head to the, the, the other end if a little while. Why am I seeing pink luggage everywhere I go? Oh, it's the same ones from the other side. Pink luggage. It is half past noon. Okay, so we've got 30 minutes uh, until the two that we saw briefly, uh, including Glorious Trojan. Uh, Trojan will be back out on the hour. Uh, I will, I think, simply because he is rather magnificent and looks very similar to Q10, hence my confusion, uh, but at least we've got clarification in the end. I will spend uh, part two uh, focusing on Spectacular Trojan. That is the most amazingly bright scarf and hat combo I've ever seen here at Horse Cars. Gosh, that's bright, isn't it? It's luminously bright. I can't begin to imagine uh, how cold and potentially stiff the guard's arm must be. Yes, he can go along, but don't forget he's got that sword in that clenched fist position uh, for... I'm, I, I actually, I'm not going to say for two hours. I think that they're still doing the two hours. I haven't really actually bothered to, to look closely enough to see. They might well, given how cold it is, be swapping over the Chitsman and Gatesman on the hour. Okay, so we had a good look. We know that they changed over at noon. So let's see what happens. If the fellow here... Uh, is on for a second hour, then we'll know. Oh wow, that's lucky, isn't it? Super timing, here he comes. I actually completely forgot about the guard doing his rounds. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. There's a lot of tourists. It was almost me getting uh, getting owned then. There's no way of knowing if he was going in the middle to talk to either the boxman or whether that was it. Flawless presentation of his uniform is immaculate. Oh, good look. It's uh, another super loud speaker system. Now, interesting enough, she's telling them all to get on the line, but she must be new because uh, it's not happening for half an hour, the changeover. It's another half an hour. I really don't think that these loudspeaker systems, these PA systems, should be permitted here. There's no need for it at all. I actually find it quite disrespectful, to be honest. If your group can't hear you, your group is too large. Should be the simple rule, I think, for, for tour guides. And the majority of them are lovely, they don't use PA systems. There's only three or four that are notorious for, uh, for using those little... Uh, in little, those loud and exceedingly annoying uh, PA systems. Anyway, it is what it is. Hopefully, that will be uh, clamped down on. Imagine if we're working with sort of ten people; they're doing it all at the same time. No one will be able to hear themselves think. Oh, have you? The second I get anywhere near to the horse, I realise there's about 100 people already behind me. And it's difficult because if you can't get right to the front, you end up sort of stuck, not in front of the horse, but not in a position to get away from the crowd. It's very, very, very unfortunate. But more importantly, if we do see any pickpockets here, then I really am having a good look around me. They'll be able to operate with relative impunity because once you get into a certain spot, you're, you're kind of stuck. And I don't think most people, it's, it might be a weird thing, folks, but when I had that hand in my pocket last week, my first instinct was just like, okay, let's see what they're going to do because there was nothing in that pocket, so I couldn't care less. But if my phone or something had been in that pocket, oh, hard to know how to respond, to be honest, guys. Really clear spot, just for the moment. Thank you. 
Finally, he's starting to ease up a little bit. Goodness me, what on earth? When's the guard is sort of uh, reassuring the horse? I'll try and find out, folks, if it's uh, a new arrival or just a very young horse. He is a beauty, I can tell you that. He or she. Yapping away, look. Spot a lot of the adults here saying to your sister, Don't go near it. You're going to stick his tongue at this one, isn't it? Curious, that is, guys. <laughs> looks at me sometimes then pauses. Like, what are you doing? Let's have a quick look actually, because I don't know this one, at the number on the hoof. So right hoof is definitely LG for lifeguard. Oh. Ah, now he moved, obviously. Come on, come back. Oh, there we are. Number 12, that looks like to me. Is that number 12? Yeah, it looks like 12. Okay, so lifeguard number 12. Is that why you are looking? Is that with me now? Is that why are you filming my hoof? Everyone's getting a photo now. It's on the move to LG 12. Come on, 
Just wait till she brings the horse this way. Bring the other. This way. Literally, literally. Just wait. He's going to bring the horse back to you. No, he won't. No, no. Stay there. Stay there. Why, but um, instinctively, people, I think that uh, Bindia, I think her name was, her friend was saying, Bindia, Bindia, go closer. I think Bindia was uh, somewhat apprehensive of the horse. I feel outright terrified. alien to me. If anyone knows, leave it in the comments. Greek perhaps? I really, really don't know. Macedonia? I spent so much time with this horse today. It's a pity I don't know uh, who LG12 is yet, but we'll find out. We haven't got very long at all, folks, until the changeover. Um, we're going to have a little walk along off camera now and see whether or not there are any signs of uh, a pickpocket. If they tend to turn up just before the change, 15, 20 minutes before the change, sort of scope out the crowd, choose their spot. I don't know exactly how they operate. I guess you know, choose people they think might be easy to pickpocket uh, and then mingle. Quite a few uh, pink bobble hats here today, but again, there's no way of knowing if they'd have the same. MO as last time or they completely changed their appearance. That said, uh, you know, a rat's face is a rat's face, so that's one thing that she will not be able to change. However, having seen now the picture of the guy that was also with her, knowing they operate in either a pair or the two of them with a young girl, be much easier to spot. So I'm gonna scope that out for a little while um, and I will be back in part two folks uh, when Trojan, glorious Trojan is back out. Um, so it won't be terribly long. Uh, from now, but not as terrified to us. Look, maybe the horse is not having smoke blown in its face. Could possibly be the reason. Second, I can actually move back and uh, have some space. Uh, I will finish part one. Now oh, the guard has come out. I don't know if he's going to come this way and he's going the other way. Okay, my perfect moment uh, to head over. Let's see if I can spot any miscreants. Anyway, guys, back in part two. Back soon. So 